I started in this business in 2007 when my father had passed away. Prestige Imports was the location that I started growing up in with my father. Me and my father weren't just father and son, he was my best friend. He said, Brett, you're blessed. We have an opportunity that not others have. Go out and show it. Be different. I remember thinking, all right, how can I impact the world, the community, young America in certain ways? And when I partnered up with High Lifeline, it was the perfect form, it was the perfect match. It allows to bring these $100,000 vehicles out of this dealership setting where you're used to walking in and having your arms crossed because you're not being able to touch. Open up the doors, drop the top, and put a child in the vehicle. It's amazing for me to sit there and think that that small thing that dad taught has allowed my team and myself to really sit and say, we want to bring what we do on an everyday basis to the world. My father wasn't a person that worked to live. He was a guy that lived to work. Forget the money, forget the car, forget the Lamborghini or the Ferraris. It's a piece of metal, it's a vehicle. You can't succeed unless you help. You can't try to be the change, and that's something I believe in, and I've, I've, I've believed in this since my father passed, is be the change you wish to see in the world. High Lifeline is the definition of a blessing. When a family needs some sort of help, a little bit of extra assistance, and it's not necessarily money, it's not necessarily just food, it's a community, it's a family. I wanted High Lifeline to be exposed to a mainstream audience, not just necessarily the Jewish community, Having them opening up the brochure and understanding what High Lifeline is. We're on this life a very short period. When you leave, nothing comes with you. It's not just about working hard. It's not just about having the biggest house with the biggest boat and having Lamborghinis in your driveway. My father used to say to me, you need to be the change. It's up to you to make a mark in this world. My main purpose, like I said, isn't just to raise money. Anybody could do that. I wanted to let the world know what High Lifeline is, what their mission statement is, and let the world know that I'm backed behind it.